Test one, two, three. Test, test, test. The Canon 5D is back, is back. How to beat the summer heat when you don't have a kiddie pool. <laughs> it's hot. It's officially hot in Denver, Colorado, where we live. It was 105 degrees yesterday, and that was an all-time record for Denver yesterday. 105 degrees. Today it's in the 90s, not as bad, but it's still hot out, and our house is 1,100 square feet. So, we have this big evaporative cooler to my right, and it does a great job at cooling off the big rooms in the house. However, we realized that it was not cooling off the nooks and crannies of the house, meaning the smaller bedrooms, the smaller home office, even the bathrooms. So that's where this guy comes in. The New Air Evaporative Cooler. It's the EC111W is the model. We love it. It's perfect for those smaller rooms in your house, the smaller home office. It's amazing. Uh, it's a, Why do I love it? It looks good. It looks good. You know, it's a sleek design. It's quiet. You don't even know it's in the room as this guy's pretty loud. Uh, you don't even know it's operating. And the best feature is that it comes, in my opinion, it comes with, with these ice packs that you put in the freezer, you pull them out of the freezer, you put them in the water, and then it cools off that water, and the water trickles down the, uh, the pads in the back, of the, uh, the back of this guy, and that cool water cools off the air, blows it into your room when you're about to fall asleep or when it's at the heat of the day, like right now. So if you can't afford air conditioning, you know, it's, it's not cheap. In fact, that is the question of the day. We had somebody come out and quote air conditioning for this house, 1,100 square feet. Bear in mind, they would not put air conditioning in the house unless we got a, a new furnace as well because the furnace is kind of old. So keep that in mind as you're calculating the cost. That's the question of the day. How much did they quote us for? Let's just say... <laughs> Let's just say we got a ways before we can do that. So if you don't want to go jump in the kiddie pool every other hour to stay cool through the hot summer heat, consider this guy. Consider it. We love it. We love it. Just to be clear, uh, we don't get the nasty heat here in Denver where it's humid. We have a very dry heat because we're at 5,280 feet above sea level, so the air is really dry, but it does get hot. And one benefit of making a daily vlog for two years in a row is that you have a little bit of an archive to go dig into. So here are some shots from one of the hottest days I can ever remember in Denver a couple years ago. Roll the tape. In the vlog. <laughs> get any better than this on Father's Day. So it, it wasn't quite that hot today in Denver. It was, it was warm though. And I tell you what, I just set up the little evaporative cooler from New Air in the boys' room and it feels good. Like it really, it's, it's cooling off the room. And so once again, it's all about the nooks and crannies of a house. And you gotta, you kinda gotta, um, process of elimination for figuring out how do you keep your family cool and the big swamp cooler the Hesser is great for the big rooms but what we realized is what about the little rooms so hopefully the boys are cool tonight I think they will be 